Construction complete. System survey complete. System survey complete. It's all about getting much land as possible. Land. Um, territory. Right territorial nuts we are at the moment. System survey complete. Construction complete. Anomaly found. So I'm going to save this. Save as Vanguard. Continue. Colonization in progress. Ha! Not taking that back, you bastards. I thought they would take all. I thought they would take my space. <laughs> Not a chance in hell. Anomaly found. Research. Construction complete. Building another colony. Situation log oh, hello. What's this? Guy world. Nice. Don't really care about other species at the moment. And we should get all that territory for ourselves System as well. System survey complete. Right, migration policies and edicts. Migration. Can we do over the bombardment full? Can we do migration? No. All right. Power plant. I think we're an upgrade. Oh no. Not yet. Anyway. Thought we could upgrade the capital. It's not something I'm going to be able to do for a while yet. So we've got loads of resources, so we'll invest them. System survey complete. So we're going to get our territory. What else we're going to get? Expanding really quick. It's good. Means all the others can't. Construction ship. I think build mining post there. Mining post. System survey complete. Mining post and mining stations. These guys are up here. And I think they're gonna upgrade that and that. And we need 180. You can piss off. Anomaly found. Take that. 180. So they really don't like me at the moment. Can't afford a new space station. Oh well. Construction complete. Colony established. <laughs> but it actually it's not lag it's not laggy at all actually. Um I usually play on five thousand but it gets complete. a little bit wacky. I wish I could play on ten thousand actually to be honest. But the map isn't big enough. Just hoping in the future Paradox release something that allows you to tinker with that so you can actually have like 10,000 stars. That would be so fun. Also, welcome to the channel. It's nice to see some more Slavic people on YouTube now. Just like 
Five years ago, there wasn't any Russians or anything on the internet practically at all. They were all on like certain games. It's nice to see that people are on different games now. So, sign ships. Serve it. Got all these done. Cover all these rich, rich, rich resources if possible. Well, I'm right now in the hive. Hive mind. I'm like the most hated arsehole in the entire galaxy at the moment. Sorry, I don't speak that. <laughs> I don't know what language that is. <laughs> I said I said it was uh, when someone was uh, like using that acrylic text the other day. I was like, "Oh, hello, Russian," and then he got pissed off that because he wasn't Russian, he was actually Latvian. <laughs> so I don't, I don't. I don't know actually know how to respond when to use Russian style text. Wasn't fun. <laughs> Hope you're well anyway. <laughs> Whereabouts in Russia are you from? Oh boy! FSB. <laughs> oh. Colony established. Come on. Get in, in got progress. it. You bastards. System survey complete. Fuck off. You wankers. Complete. Finally got it. <laughs> System survey complete. Okay, so I think we need to concentrate on industry now. Actually industry's pretty good. Getting food again. So everyone's not being like North Korea now. Uh, that'd be nice to get, wouldn't it? Absolutely Nobody fantastic. <sighs> Mr. Bombastic, Mr. Fantastic. Uh, how many plants have we got at the moment? Um, eight worlds at the moment. Just so I can get all this territory. I've just started as well, so I'm Nobody only on 20, 20, 26, 22, 26. Ah, uh, I've I've literally backed the humans into a corner. <laughs> See this right here. <laughs> they can't do fuck all about it. <laughs> because it started here and I started here, and the territory was where this cursor is right now, like a line here. Actually, it was even smaller than this. It was like here. So what I did was I put an outpost there, to limit the growth, and then I just colonized a little bit so so they wouldn't grow. But what I've got now, I've got all these planets to myself. Hopefully I don't get Situation log declared war upon, but it happens. I'm just going to make a new sector now. I think this will be my... Another industrial sector, maybe. Don't really know yet. But I need more automation. Otherwise, I will be, my head will be drowning in micromanaging shit. <laughs> Your forwards. Forwards. Um... I think this will be our core worlds right here, this line here. I think everything beyond that point 
will be in the sector. So, do I make this into an energy sector? Or an, another industrial sector? Probably make it more balanced actually. It's best to keep it in balanced. Dump all my resources in where so they're happy for a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do I play Fallout 4? I was actually thinking about that the day if I should make a series on that. I mean, I wonder if people would watch it. I mean, I enjoy Fallout 4. I haven't got all the DLC though. It's a bit, it was a shame that they only released like, you know, like three or four DLC for it and then they stopped. That was a real shame. I mean, Fallout 3's DLC was amazing. You had the Mothership Zeta and you had the pits, the steel pit mills and shit. And it's really good. And then you had the Enclave, didn't you? You had, you had the Enclave base and everything that was so cool. But it, it's like if they didn't bother at all with Fallout 4. I like the story of Fallout 4, but the DLC wasn't was pretty much shit. Research complete. <laughs> <laughs> sausages. I tell you what, I had some right nicey, nice spicy sausages the other day. Like, oh my fucking god, those were fucking lush, mate. Who's reactor? <laughs> Get that done. Where are you from? Germany, Drake. I went to Berlin myself last year. It's a lovely place. Requires a scientist. Oh, so our scientists are dying again. The only good thing scientists have fought in this game is dying. Especially when they all die together. It's fantastic. Alright. Yep, Switzerland, Germany. Same thing. It's only that. Switzerland's a bit more lovely with its uh, banking systems and chocolate and snowboarding and the uh, how to put this mountainous ah. <laughs> uh. Rusky. Well, that's not hard to believe. I think everyone's grandfather was in Berlin in 1945. <laughs> if you're from Russia. Probably Germany too, since Germany held out a lot. I mean, they recalled... Actually, the Situation French SS completed. division, which was in France, was recalled uh, Berlin. I think they were the last fighters of Berlin, actually, the French System division. Because uh, what Germany did was they pulled back everything, all the forces. Bloody hell, that was a war zone. When I went back, to, when I went to Germany, it looked like most of the old buildings were intact. Like, some of the buildings, um, I stopped with a mate and his flat where he was living actually had. Looked like it was built in the 1940s. Looked exactly the same kind of architecture. It's pretty nice actually. It was like it had that feel, if you know what I mean. It's really nice. Really nice place, Germany. You get a lot of value for food because I don't know I know you're from Russia or in Switzerland and that but in Britain food prices here are like fucking crazy. Like over here it's like Two pound fifty for milk over there. It's like one euro twenty. It's really cheap. Probably because we lost our empire and all our goods. Rule Britannia. Britannia rules the waves. Britons never, never, never shall be slain.
Hello, Admiral. How are you, mate? Yeah. Actually, one surprising thing is about when we left the EU, um, Hong Kong went really shit crazy, wanting us to take them back as a colony, which was pretty cool in a way, but China would not stand for that. And I think China's going to be the superpower of the world soon. Well, practically already is, but... Oh! Have you seen the new technology? Russia's just made the um, hypersonic missiles, nuclear, uh, hypersonic ballistic missiles, go 4,600 miles per fucking hour. <laughs> so instead of a missile taking like 10 minutes, if it was nearby, to get to like a country, say about f 600 miles away, so like that would probably be like France or something from Russia. Instead of 10 minutes, it would take like 4 minutes, 3 minutes. It's crazy. It's just announced today. I really like uh, Russia at the moment. I like Putin. Um, that's probably not going to make me, give me any subscribers. But <laughs> I do like how he basically, you know, stands up for himself and that. Not many leaders do that. They're a bit pissy. I used to like Trump, but Trump was is like more like it seems like he's fighting for Israel much instead of actually his own country these days. So I was hoping that would change, but man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do. Resources. Got them. Alright, so I got my two sectors now. That's fine. Yeah. I've actually got to watch that. I've got to watch The Apprentice, see what he's like in The Apprentice. We have The Apprentice program in Britain with all the entrepreneurs and like ideas. It's actually a really good show. Established. Uh, survey complete. I really want to see the American version, see what he's like in that, because that sounds really interesting. <laughs> Construction complete. Also, if you like my channel and shit, Please subscribe, it does help out a lot. Not to be a bit of an advertisement be it there, but, you know. <laughs> I'd really like to see yous again. Especially you, Mr. Russian dude. And Drake. I want to see you again. It's pretty nice. I used to just do these streams for, like, subscribers, and then subscribe subscribers and have fun, but then I realised that you can actually meet some cool people doing this, and it's sort of like a way to keep people around. By the way, I'm not professional at all. I'll probably fuck up everything, but I'll still record it anyway. So I'm no PewDiePie with his fucking scripts. If there's any PewDiePie lovers out there. I am definitely not a PewDiePie lover. Hell no. Oh, I thought we'd have all these systems surveyed by now. Alright, so he's busy in the north. I think we're done actually. In oh no, some yet. Oh, nice. Some more systems. But yeah, I'll probably talk about everything and anything with his. I've got loads of games to stream and shit. I don't know how much 500k rubles is, but I know that 2,000 rubles can get you an escort for one hour <laughs> in St. Petersburg. <laughs> Actually, it's pretty cheap over there. <laughs> You'd probably want to wear a condom, though.
Zero 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 nine right now. Uh, Twenty three ten, right here. Oh, who is this prick? Hello. Any fallen empires yet? No, no. Who the fuck's this? Whoa, you are definitely not a fallen fucking empire, are you? Are you? Let me have a look. I have no clue. Well, it's only two hours ahead over there. Wow. Research complete. System survey complete. It's actually pretty good, actually, to be honest. I've always wanted to go to Moscow, like. Looks really cool. I think it's really cool, though, isn't it? Reaches, like, minus 45 or something up there. St. Petersburg or Moscow would be really cool. Yeah, devouring swarm. Devouring bugs, anyway. Sort of reminds me of that film, you know, as a kid. The last something. You know, right, he's a commander and he takes out, like, the bug species, but in the end he saves, like, an egg and he tries to restart it, but it doesn't show you that part. Blows up a planet with a super weapon laser. I don't know if you've seen it, it's a very western film. Yeah. Uh, save it again, just in case. Yeah, end this game, that's it, yeah, end this game. That was so cool. I, it wasn't like, people didn't like it, but I really liked it because it showed like a hive species and how it would work. You know, it was pretty cool, and mining ice and shit, that was pretty cool. That was a pretty good tactic how he used the ice to blow them all over. I mean, it's I, I don't know if it was like a child, like a something for complete. kids, but it was actually pretty appealing for me. And I was about 17 at the time when it came out. Huh. Well, if you read the book, it's I think when you read a book, you can interpret any way you want, so it's the best, best, if you know what I mean. Like it's System the survey. ultimate complete. best because it's your imagination. But I mean, you could you could totally turn that into a different story, not for kids, but like in a, like an adult movie. You know, you could have them ripping apart humans and eating them and shit. <laughs> but they went the pacifist route, I guess. Okay, so I think it's time to expand a hell of a lot. I want my systems back because these this eight here, this Romeo system was mine and I want it back right now. Oh nice, we have hit the jackpot with this. Hit the jackpot with the uh planets. <laughs> Mr. Prime. And Think Smith System no. Survey complete. Leos, no. I think we'll colonize Parabim when we get it. Oh, I fucking love Star Wars. I've been doing Stellaris Star Wars and I've been doing Homeworld remastered mods of Stellar uh, Star Wars. System survey complete. I'm a, um I really like the love Star Wars here, so yeah, a big Star Wars fan here. pretty good system survey complete I'm glad that they're doing more spin-off shows about it like you know the Han Solo story and shit bit disappointed that they scrap that game the one which goes underneath the uh, Coruscant 
So you're going to the underworld. That was it. Actually, looked really good. That that game looked a masterpiece. It looks like AAA. Would have made a lot of money, but they cancelled it, didn't they? So. That was a huge shame, shame because I saw the trailer, it was released the other month, um, Star Wars, I've forgotten the name of it, but you know what I'm on about, the Underworld game, and uh, the trailer looked really, really good. It's a huge shame, I bet they would have made a lot of money with that as well. Yeah, seven, <laughs> seven episode was strange, but I do like the general hook speech. Today is the end of the Republic. An organization which requiesces to disorder. All star systems will bow to the First Order and will remember this as the last day of the Republic. Oh yeah, that Darth Vader scene in Rogue One was amazing. That was so cool. Hands down. I should get an Oscar just for that part alone. I bet everyone was like so infatuated with that scene when they saw it. I think they're extending the canon though, isn't it? Because it's like the latest in the timeline. Uh, okay. Situation log Go for that, I guess. Yeah. I mean, that Imperial Star Destroyer just coming out of warp. Like that. System Hyperspace. Complete. It's amazing. Anomaly found. So I think it looks like we can't expand any further. System survey complete. So we're just gonna have to grow our colonies, I guess. I think we can colonize practically every every single world except for the desert. Oh shit! Lost my second planet. How did that? Edgar. Ah, uh, Edgar's all the way over there, isn't it? No. I guess we'll have to get some more then. Is this good? Yeah, it's good. Colonize. So we'll get my core systems up, I guess. Nesta's getting colonized. Leos. I think Leos was a good system, wasn't it? Uh, it's alright. Edgar. Smith. Oh, that is nice. That is a nice system. And I'll colonize the other system. Is this it? I don't think this was it. No. It's this one. <laughs> First Reich. Do you mean Third Reich? I don't think Kylo Ren is the best evil guy. He's a bit. He looks. Like he's, he looks like he's someone with bipolar disorder. Like you know, he keeps going in tantrums and shit. I'm actually looking forward to the new movies. I think General Hux is pretty good, like. Construction complete. Anomaly found. Oh. 
System survey complete. Is anyone going to be getting the um, in Battlefront System Battlefront complete. Two? Is anyone going to get that? Evading hostile fleet. So I think we're going to expand our army, I guess. So build. Actually, we don't need to. 